How's it going guys, Mr. Boss for the win here, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Ghost video. Today we're going to be talking about my ultimate class setup guide for squads mode and multiplayer mode. Now of course these classes are not final, they are meant to be a skeleton for whatever you want them to be. Whether you want to change up the kill streaks, whether you want to add another attachment, take an attachment away, maybe use a different gun or even a different type of gun. This is just a skeleton. These classes have worked very nicely for me and I thought I would show them to you because like I said, I've been doing really consistent with these uh, classes, these guns these loadouts so I thought I would share them with you the first one is the good AR class it starts with the honey badger secondary of a PDW IED uh, nine bang of course I have four perks one of them is uh, agility the next one is sleight of hand ready up and quick draw and a standard 357 loadout this is just the good AR class the honey badger is a great assault rifle has a built-in silencer so you can use it with a red dot and a foregrip your kill streaks are really obtainable and uh, you have a secondary to fall back on as well as a nine bang and an IED Good overall class, and that is why I'm calling this the Good Assault Rifle. Alright, so moving on to the next one. The next one is the Fast SMG class, and there's a reason I call it the Fast SMG class. Uh, I'm using a lot of stealth perks here. Well, excuse me, I'm only using two stealth perks, but it allows me to be very quick at what I'm doing. So I'm using Agility, I'm also using Marathon, I'm using Strong Arm, Focus, and Hardline. Those are my perks, and those allow me to move them around the map really quickly. And because I'm going to be moving around using the submachine gun, I'm also using the Support Strike Package. Uh, I'm using that with a SATCOM. Oracle, and then what is it? I believe it's like the Loki that allows you to drop uh, care packages and mark people on the map, similar to that bird that was in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, it's kind of built into that giant kill streak right there. So I'm using the nine bang grenade as well as the canister bomb because I have this uh, strong arm perk. But really, the MTAR X is just a nice overall submachine gun. I'm not using it with a silencer because I'm going to be moving around. People are going to be knowing my location anyways. This isn't to be a stealthy class. This is meant to be a very fast class, getting you around the map and uh, getting you from location to location as quickly as possible. I wouldn't recommend using this on objective play because you're using the SATCOM and then two really high kill streaks uh, as far as the support class goes. But is a really nice TDM and free-for-all class. I like it a lot and it's one I'm definitely going to be using. All right, so moving on to the next one. This is the Heavy Assault Rifle. This is a real bulky, heavy class, but one that I think is really, really nice. We're starting out with the SA-805 Assault Rifle, which is one of my favorites in the game. It's just an overall really strong rifle. Uh, it's got a little bit of recoil, but it packs a lot of punch. And of course, depending on what attachments you put on it, uh, I've actually put on what I believe is the Muzzle Break, uh, which gives me extra damage as well. And then, of course, just a standard red dot sight. Uh, or excuse me, I'm using a Tracker Sight right here, which the Tracker Sight is actually really cool uh, it actually gives you like a Oracle like outline of people if you played Halo 4 uh, you know the enemies how they could go into that mode where they could uh, see in the dark uh, and it allowed you to see this orange outline over enemies. That's basically what the tracker site does. Now, I've given up a tactical grenade so that I could get more perks that I liked. One of them is reflex, steady aim, off the grid, and scavenger. Now, I'm using a secondary class as well, the reason, or a secondary um, weapon as well with this. And that's the reason I call it the heavy one, because you are using the 44 Magnums Akimboed. Those pack a lot of punch, don't give you the best accuracy, but are really cool. We're using the Guard Dog, the Trinity Rocket, and the Battle Hind. Like I said, a little bit heavier kill streaks to go along with a heavier setup class. I'm, I'm telling you, if you can get to the, the Trinity Rocket, it's almost guaranteed to get that last kill streak. So looking at the close run and gun, the shotguns in this game are not very powerful. Um, and the reason they're not very powerful is because the range sucks. So the range on all of them are awful and it's kind of pointless to go with a pump action shotgun. The semi-automatics are going to be the best in this game. And I really like the Bulldog over the MTS-255. Now, the reason I like the Bulldog over the um, MTS-225 or 255 is because its reload speed is incredibly fast. You're able to reload this very quickly, and um, that really helps you when you're moving and on the go. Um, this time, I don't have a lethal grenade because we're going to be up and close. Uh, we're going to be trying to take people out with our weapons. But I am using a ton of perks in this class, as you can see. I'm using the Special Slowdown, Agility Marathon, ICU, Blast Shield, and an extra Tactical Grenade. So I get two Concussion Grenades off the bat. And I'm using the Specialist Package. I'm starting with On The Go, Ready Up, and Strong Arm. Finishing off with Quick Draw, Off The Grid, and Ping. Those are my final perks right there. And I think that is a really nice loadout for this class because you earn your specialist bonus at a really low level. You get 2, 4, 6, and 8, which was the traditional Modern Warfare 3 style. And that's really helpful considering you only have a shotgun and a secondary weapon. So you are going to be dying with this class, but I really like it. 
Moving on to my stealthy class, we're using the Remington R5, the highest damage output and it has reduced recoil as well. We're also equipping it with a silencer and a red dot sight of your choice. You can switch out, like I said, any of these attachments, but if we want to be stealthy, we are going to be using the silencer. We're going to be using the silencer on our PDW secondary as well. We're going to be using a motion sensor right here. Again, adds to the stealth element and of course the canister bomb. Now the canister bomb is really for emergencies only in case you get caught in a tough situation. You can use it to get out of some sticky spots. And we're really focusing on all stealthy perks. Incognito hides you from recon, thermal scope, amplify, gives you uh, louder footsteps, focus, and an additional tactical grenade. Now we're not using off the radar, or excuse me, uh, off the grid, because we of our strike package. And our strike package consists of uh, the SATCOM. At the 12 kill streak, we have everything that disables the SATCOM. I believe it's the ground jammer. And then at 14, we're just simply using the Oracle because we are using the support package. It doesn't matter if we really die. Now, I don't use the sniper a whole lot, but the L115 is the most powerful sniper in the game, deadly from the knee up through center mass, and has a recoil compensator as well, which will reduce uh, which will reduce the sniper kick after each kill. So I do think that's really cool. We're using a standard pistol, the MP443, with a tactical knife. Of course, it's really nice to have a uh, pistol using a sniper. We're using the IED, which is kind of a combo Claymore and Bouncing Betty in this game. And our perks are definitely suited for a sniper rifle. We're using off the grid, blind eye, takedown, and reflex. Reflex, which allows us to get to our pistol faster, takedown, so you don't know where your enemies are killed from. And of course, blind eye and off the grid are fairly self-explanatory as well. Now for our strike package, we're using the support again. We're going to be using the SATCOM so you can just kill someone, place it down at your feet. Same thing with the ballistic vest. If you get it, just place it down at your feet. Your teammates will come to you. And finally, air superiority to take out any jets or uh, enemy uh, aircraft in the sky. I think it's a really cool class. It's kind of like a sniper and anti-air support class built in one. So I do think that is really cool. Anyways, guys, like I said, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, I would encourage you guys to push that thumbs up button and subscribe if you are new for more awesome Call of Duty Ghost content. Anyways, guys, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.